What's up y'all, it's Mike Atwater here at Freeway Music and today we're gonna work on a 1-4-5 progression exercise in the key of G major. Now it's important to learn uh, this exercise in all of the keys, but today I'm just gonna show you G major uh, since I'm a little short on time. All right, so what you wanna be able to um, understand before you start this exercise or what you wanna be able to know is uh, your major scale. Okay, so if you don't know your major scale, I'll show you it real quick in the key of G. So what I'm doing here is a G, an A, a B, a C, a D, and then a E, and then an F sharp, and then back to G. I'm just resolving on the G note. That's seven notes in the key of G major, okay? Now, one thing to understand as well is that there are chords behind each of those notes if you're gonna play a chord progression in the key of G major. So each of those notes is the root note to a chord, okay? So G actually has a major chord behind it, A has a minor chord behind it, B has a B minor chord, or a minor chord behind it, C has a major, D has a major, E has a minor and F sharp has a diminished, okay? And then uh, back to your G, okay? So we're gonna talk about the one, four, five of that, meaning we have seven notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna take the first note, and the fourth note, and the fifth note, which is G, C, and D, a very popular progression. C and D, one, four, five. All right, and we're gonna use partials on the second, third, and fourth string, okay? It's very practical using partials because uh, if you know the cage system, we have very uh, unforgiving chord shapes like the, the G form over top of the neck. It looks like this. We don't wanna play that all the time, so we play pieces of it, right? The same thing with the D form. That's a crazy thing to play, so we play pieces of it. Little octave shapes, right? So I'm gonna use the second, third, and fourth string of the G, C, and the D chord. So if you don't know the cage system, you might wanna learn it, and I'll teach that to you in a future video if you need. All right, so what I'm gonna do is play G, C, and D as many times as I can over the neck. And you'll notice that I won't play the D form in the cage system on the second, third, and fourth string because the D form chord on the second, third, and fourth string is actually not a triad, okay? It's a power chord, which is a root five chord. We got root five root. There's no three in there. It's a neutral chord. I can play it over a minor or a major. So we're gonna, we're gonna skip the D form and we wanna play triads, meaning root three and five all over the neck, okay? So I'm gonna start with G, C, and D down here. So that's a G. C on the second, third, and fourth string, which is the B, G, and D string. And then our D chord, okay? I'm also gonna tell you the forms here. So we got a G form, C form, then another C form here. I'll play you the full form so you know what I'm talking about. But I'm only playing the piece on the second, third, and fourth string. So that's G, C, D. I'm gonna go to my next G, which is an E form here. I'm going to my next C, and my next D, which are both A forms. And if you haven't caught on yet, a four and a five uh, chord, uh, you can just go up a whole step. So that's a little cheat that you can uh, implement when you're using this so you don't have to think about it too much but you want to think about it just so you get it down and understand it and then use that cheat okay so the the four and the five are always the same shape going up all right so far we got g c d g c d i got a g which is a c form okay just playing the piece of the C form on the second, third, and fourth string. C, E form. 
and then D, which is another E form. And then you can resolve a G. So one more time, I'm going to play that whole thing for you. G. And you can do it backwards if you want to as well. to play a very popular progression which is one four five over the whole neck okay so same thing uh, let me change uh, the key just so you can uh, you know have another example here so I got an E form of E I'll do E A and B because um, one four five and E is E A and B major so I got an E Sorry, sorry. E, A, B. Let me do that again. E, A, B. Right? So that's the same exercise in E. All right? Let's go back to G, and I want to show you what I'm doing. I'm hybrid picking. My pick is picking the fourth string, which is the D string. My second finger is picking the third string, which is the G string. And my third finger is picking the second string, which is the B string. Okay, and you can put a little spin on it by doing a little bit of hybrid picking. I'll do uh, one string at a time. Okay, and then you can go all the way back. So, G, C, D. G, C, D. G, C, D. Okay? And that's the exercise. I hope you liked it. Tune it out. Let me resolve that a little bit better, actually. Give you a couple good endings. So that covers one, four, five chord progression in the key of G major on the second, third, and fourth strings. So try to implement that into your playing. Whenever you have a one, four, five progression, use those shapes all over the neck to get you out of the, the open chord, cowboy chord area and get up there and, you know, do some cool stuff. All right, Mike Atwater tuning out. See ya.